Well, well, well. It finally came out. The abomination that we have been waiting oh so long for. But, but, but not quite what it was in the original trailer. Oh no, absolutely fucking not. We got a brand new version. Video game movies usually suck ass, let's be completely honest here. You know, ever since we, we, we saw movies like the Mario Brothers movie or Street Fighter the movie... There's always been this stigma that video game movies have, you know, they've uh, they, they've kind of sucked ass. And it wasn't until, I think, in my opinion, Detective Pikachu, when video game movies started to become actually kind of good. I wasn't born until after the Genesis and Super Nintendo had already pretty much reached the end of their lifespan. So the systems that I grew up with were the, the PlayStation 1 and the Nintendo GameCube. So I kind of missed out on that whole war between Mario and Sonic. But I liked Sonic more. And when I saw that they were going to make a movie about one of my favorite video game series, I wasn't happy about that. You know, I thought to myself, well, this is going to suck ass. And then, of course, the original trailer they had was, was a monstrosity, and that was really horrifying, and everyone was like, boo, this is going to suck. Being single, you know, my friends and I decided to go see it on Valentine's Day. And you know what? Fuck me sideways. Uh, yeah. I had fun. With a video game movie. Like, I had a genuine good time. Now, I'm not going to sit here and try to say it was as good as movies like The Lighthouse or Uncut Gems or anything like that. But this honestly is my favorite video game movie. And, and I enjoyed Detective Pikachu very, very much. But there was just something about the Sonic movie that just had this this really fun tone to it. So, so starting off, you know, everyone was really af afraid of the Sonic model, the, the animation model when it first came out. They really fixed it. Uh, it looks a lot better. It looks, you know, he looks good. He always cute. He's kind of fluffy. He's very fun and energetic. They they did an excellent job with the character design, and which was important because you know he's in for most of this fucking movie. The next point that a lot of people brought up was, oh, seeing Jim Carrey as Doctor Robotnik. You know, I, I knew that his performance was going to be the top shelf, the highest tier, super SS plus. And goddamn, it was. You could definitely tell that Jim Carrey had a lot of fun being Dr. Robotnik. Now, I know that, you know, it's, he's sort of a method actor and he ties, tries to take things a little too far sometimes when, when filming. But he looked like he was having genuine fun. There's, I can't really think of a person that would have done a better job as Dr. Robotnik, if I'm being completely honest. He looked great. Now, the plot itself was kind of cool because it didn't necessarily take a place in the Mobius world or like the Sonic the Hedgehog game universe. And it very loosely, loosely was was based on the actual video game. They had this whole plot where, like, Sonic's super speed is this, like, unstoppable, unlimited power, and people are going to try to take it, so he's kind of been on the run all his life. And, of course, you know, going to Earth, he's lonely, he doesn't have any friends. So, eventually, because he's always on the run, he eventually gets spotted and causes a power outage, and uh, he's being chased by the United States government and Dr. Robotnik, who they, who they, who's employed you know, with his robots to, to, to track down whatever the disturbance is for this electrical energy. And the, the plot itself doesn't sound necessarily great. You know, it's not a plot that is revolutionary, but it worked. So Sonic runs, meets up with this police officer who is uh, a local, like the, the sheriff of a town, a very small town called Green Hills. I see what you did there. And they go on like the little buddy adventure to get to San Francisco so Sonic can get his warping ring so he can warp somewhere else to going uh, essentially to be safe and away from harm. And, of course, you know, they, they learn about the power of friendship, and Sonic realizes that, no, he's not alone in the universe. And the other guy is like, I want to stay in my small town so I can protect my friends, just like Sonic the Hedgehog. And you know what? It was fun. The plot itself being so generic, you know, and, and seen a billion times at this point, isn't really that interesting on its own. But the way that they did it with Sonic and, like, the visual effects of him being fast, uh, it was... It was just fun. Is it the best movie ever? No, absolutely not. Is it the dumpster fire that it was going to be? Absolutely not. It's good for what it is. I hope they do a sequel. I know there's been talk that Jim Carrey and the voice actor who voiced Sonic had a lot of fun and they, and they wanted to do a sequel. And what they do at the end, uh, spoiler alert if you, if, you, if you do plan on seeing it, uh, they actually bring in Tails, and I was like, oh, hey, look, it's Tails. Oh, that's cool. And he kind of goes off into the distance looking for his buddy Sonic, and uh, 
Yeah, that's where the, that's where the movie ends. It was good. And I highly recommend giving this one a chance. 